Thanks, Shelly. The San Diego Automotive Museum hosting a car rally this weekend. Heather Lake live in Balboa Park this morning with a look at their newest exhibit. Heather, hi. Good morning. Yeah, a big car rally this weekend. So people who haven't been to all the really cool car shows that have gotten canceled because of the pandemic can now enjoy all of the eye candy, all the muscle cars. And if you can't get to the rally this weekend because it has been sold out, well, you can come out to the Automotive Museum and check out their new exhibit called That 70s Car Show, taking you back a few decades, showing you all of the cool muscle cars that used to um, be built way back then. And things changed a lot in the 70s with the car industry. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that with Lenny, who is the executive director of the San Diego Automotive Museum. Um, kind of cool because we're thinking about all of the shows and movies that came out. And as we take a peek through some of these um, little nooks and crannies, you can see some of those cars. A lot of the movies and shows were all based on a car, right? And all of the yeah. power and you kind of had this like, you could hear the engine. We don't see that a lot anymore. Yeah, in the 70s, the cars were actually characters in the TV show and they took on a role. Something you probably don't see as much now. Um, you know, the Grand Torino with the Starchy and Hutch. Uh, you know, you've got the, uh, the kit car, you know, everything, Knight yeah. Rider, all that kind I of stuff. I kind of was thinking of like Dukes of Hazzard. Dukes of Hazzard, and, yeah. You know, just these old shows. And nowadays things have changed a little bit. I mean, so is a lot about cars, right? We're all looking at electric vehicles. So we kind of take you back in some of these. Every car has a bit of a story. I know you've mm -hmm. wanted to share some of these. And as people get to come to the Automotive Museum, they can read about them as yep. they go along their way. This yeah. white one over here is kind of cool. And you guys get a lot of these loaned from local people right here in San Diego. Yeah, actually, all but uh, four of the cars on the floor right now are local car owners yeah uh, we don't own very many cars in terms of what we show um, and the, the fair lady z there is a prime example of a loaner car uh, the cool story on this is the japanese didn't think american consumers would purchase a car with the name fair lady in its title oh uh, times change yeah times <laughs> have changed and they and that's how the z was born oh, cool. and now these uh fair lady badges and the tribute cars are a hot thing right now um, and we're and we're honored to have uh, one of the local San Diegans here lend us his car while he's serving in the military. That is really, really cool and I love that we get to see it right here. Okay, so there's a rally happening this weekend with a few stops around San Diego, one at Miramar, one at Saquon. You guys have this big thing going on. Do you think you'll do more? I know the tickets are sold out. Yeah, I mean, we were very, very uh, blessed. I mean, tickets sold out really fast. We were actually thinking we'd only get maybe 60 cars. Yeah. But we have 150 cars, uh, you know, the Mansfields, our honorary chairs with David Young from Precious Metals. Uh, we love having them. We have great sponsors. Yeah. Um, and, and just well, and it's good to be excited. able to have all these people rally around you um, yes. at a time that, you know, it's hard to get these kind of events going on. This is the car that's going to be auctioned, though. So if people couldn't yep. get in the rally, you can still be part of the fundraiser. Yep. And so how much money is it to get in this auction? Someone's going to win this car. Someone's going to win this car. Uh, we're going to sell 3,500 tickets at $100 a ticket. Uh, your chances are better if I don't sell all 3,500. <laughs> but we have a, a, a shortfall of about a half a million dollars because of COVID. And oh, so wow. this is going to be kind of our answer, our, our Hail Mary of trying to make up that shortfall. Yeah, so this absolutely. will really help the museum if people would participate and they can go online, get tickets really easy. Um, okay. We'll try to make it as easy as possible. Make a phone call, yeah. fax in. And we'll hey, no, anyway. we don't need a fax. I'm going to put it up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. You guys know the deal. All you need to do is like click on that little scene on tab, and we'll put all the information there. You can win a car. Pretty cool. Fun fact. So way back when I was little Heather, um, I helped my dad in the garage work on a 1936 Chevy, and it was bright yellow. Super fun. Um, so it's just kind of being here is taking me back to those memories. But I got a little trivia because I'm having fun with the trivia this morning. Rebel, how much was a gallon of gas back in 1970, in the beginning of the 70s? Because it changed quite a in bit. 1970, the end. No a gallon of gasoline, I will say, is about 38 cents per gallon. You are so good this morning. 36 cents. Really? Average cost. It was over a dollar by the end of the 70s, though. Yeah, I was going to say. Fire. Early 70s, a big difference between the late 70s, given what happened. But uh, yes. picture or it ain't true with that yellow car and your dad and little Heather. I got to find it. You got to pick. You got to find the picture and post that. <laughs> Heather Lake, thank you. Absolutely.